Well, hello everyone, this is Henry Story and welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about the lens you are looking through right now. Now this lens, curiously, was free actually. It came with this optical snoot that I bought and I had no intention of buying a lens but I just went on Amazon. I was looking for a, a, an optical snoot to get creative with my photography, with my video. And uh, if you don't know what an optical snoot is, it's one of those um, things that goes on your lights. It has a Bowens mount in the back and it will help you get patterns on the back wall. Uh, behind you or patterns on your subject like little grids or window looking just many different things you can add anyway this kit supposedly came with a 50 millimeter lens right so when i got it on amazon the first time the lens didn't come with it they replaced it for me and the next shipment came with a 50 millimeter lens anyway this lens it's not really a, I wouldn't call it a cine lens because it doesn't have, you know, the grooves or the gears on the focus ring or anything. It's, I mean, it's free. It, it was an accessory that came with the optical snoot. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make a video about with this lens showing what it's capable of. How does it look? It makes me question, do we really need to go for those crazy 10,000 $5,000 lenses that you see out there, especially if you're starting out as a videographer or can creativity make up for the price tag people don't really notice at a certain point and if you're if you do this for a living photography video you know that clients they don't even notice the differences sometimes between you know, most of the time pretty much all of the time um, when you swap a lens or when you're looking at f star we're looking at things that they don't really notice i thought it would be fun to shoot a couple of things with this lens around in my studio just um, footage of my other lenses things I have around uh, footage of myself, just so you can get an idea of what the image looks like. And, um, and hey, if you don't have a budget of at least 300 bucks to get a cine lens, one of the cheapest ones, like the Rokinons, then uh, maybe you can invest in the optical snoot for 100 bucks. And then as an accessory, get this free lens. You know what I need right now? I need some coffee. I'm going to go make some coffee and I'll be right back. All right. So uh, I don't want to ramble on and bore you. So I created a little list. I know uh, many of you will appreciate it. Pros, cons, and tips. Maybe one tip, you know, that I want to share about this lens. Before I start, I'm going to get a sip of this magnificent coffee. The pros of getting this lens. It's free. Okay. So if you are interested in getting an optical snoot, like I was, Go on the site. I think I just checked. It was like $177. All right. So, and they'll just throw in the lens as an accessory. Hey, try it out. You know, anyways, if you don't use the optical snoot, you got a lens for $177. Or you can see it as, hey, I just got a free lens and I bought an optical snoot for $177. Pros, it's free. Number two, it has locked focus. If you're coming from the photography world, every time you shut down the camera, the focus will restart or it'll change right and then when you turn the camera back on whatever was in focus before is not going to be in focus with this lens it's locked on so it's great for studio work i can leave my camera where it is like i did right now when i went to get coffee i turned off the camera and it was already focused on me i hope that it didn't change focus because i didn't even look at it i turned on the camera and it seems like it's good it doesn't say anything about the properties of the lens or anything but i found that the minimum focus distance for this lens is about one foot that's not bad like i, I was able to get pretty close to my other lenses here on the on the uh, table and things in the studio that i was recording and uh, it felt pretty good for a 50 millimeter lens it's awesome this is standard lens you can use for pretty much everything so if you you know want to cheap out on lenses then just get this free lens um from amazon and practice even if you just for practice right obviously if you're doing professional work for big companies then okay you're not going to use this lens you have the budget to buy a more professional lens the cons i've already mentioned one the aperture gear is very loose so you know i don't trust i wouldn't trust that on a professional shoot of course another con that i found was no gears on the focus ring so you can't do a uh, follow focus, put a follow focus on this. You can't really do that. And um, one tip that I thought of, if you're interested in getting this free lens, when I put it on my camera at first, 
And I, I'm new to this because I, I don't use manual lenses. You know, I always use uh, photography lenses that go with the, you know, Canon brand or Sigma or whatever that the, that the camera will actually recognize. But in this case, it didn't recognize it because it doesn't have any pins or any adapters or anything. So it thinks that the camera does not have a lens. So you need to go in the settings and turn on the release the shutter without the lens. Then you will be able to take photos or take videos. I, I think it's exciting, you know, to find uh, something free that looks good that I can actually use. I might just leave this on my studio camera on my R6 there on the uh, tripod, not even move it and just turn it on whenever I want to make a video. I'm happy with this setup. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you want to see other videos about lenses, things that I find that I want to try out, cameras, uh, how do you set up your lighting, uh, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.